Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome to the last episode of our Tech Guns tutorial series. That's it. That's right, this is coming to an end now. Um, we're going over the final four weapon items in the mod, and then we're going to call it quits. The only things left are decorative blocks and items, and there's no need to tutorialize those at all. Uh, so we're going to snap up uh, two things that we um, skipped out on and then uh, two things that I have waited on and uh, they're really cool. So let's get into it and uh, let's go quick. So first off we got the combat knife, uh, which is the most basic melee weapon you can get in tech guns. I, I did pass it up and forget to mention it when I did the melee weapons episode because I didn't see it because it's so small the icon uh, is in the uh, in the items list. So to make a combat knife, all you need is a steel plate and a plastic sheet. So as soon as you get plastic, you'll be able to get yourself a combat knife. Uh, hold it in your hand, it looks like a knife. Left click, it swings. Right click, you can unblock with it. It deals uh, 6.5 attack damage with a durability of 1000. So let's get ourselves some zombies. And we'll whack a few with a combat knife to see how many times we need to do it to kill it. Obviously the combat knife is not going to be the best melee weapon, <laughs> but at 6.5 damage it's uh, pretty decent. Three shot zombie. So there you go, three shot. Alright, that's basically it. The combat knife is pretty simple. It's too bad you can't throw it. That'd be fun. Alright, so, next we have the Steel Granat. This is a uh, German hand grenade. Uh, it was used in World War II. And uh, it's a stick grenade. So, if we, uh, to craft it, you need a TNT, uh, three iron ingots, and an oak wood plank arranged like this. Right, a bit of a funny shape, like a sideways Y shape with your iron, a piece of wood, plank in the middle, and a TNT on the top right. You get 16 of them, so it's pretty good uh, as far as um, efficiency to materials goes. It's actually quite good. It does require iron, uh, which is a bit of a bummer since a lot of things in these mod packs tend to require iron. Uh, the way it works is that you uh, you hold the right mouse button down to charge up your throw. The longer you hold it, the further it'll go. It bounces a few times before exploding. If you just click, it doesn't go very far, so don't do that unless you're trying to throw it down this hole for these zombies. Boom. See, it's very effective. Dealing quite a lot of damage. It doesn't say how much damage it deals, but it was able to kill those zombies very quickly. Let's go ahead and go to Miscellaneous, and we'll spawn ourselves a spider. So there's the spider. Oh, don't go over there. I'm going to spawn him down here because it's going to mess up the uh, stuff I've got over there if I do that. So let's see. It one shots him. So yeah, the steel grenades are going, steel grenades, the, the, the stick grenades are going to do a very good job for you. Knocks things off the walls when you do it. Uh, you can throw them in the air. And they do throw very, very quick, very far. And they'll bounce quite readily if you uh, throw them uh, hard. Alright, so they're very cool. I like them. Now we come to the, uh, the fun part. The explosives. There's two explosives in tech guns that you can place in the world. The explosive charge and the advanced explosive charge. We'll start with the first one. So to craft one of these, you need four TNT, one circuit board, and four rubber bars. Interesting choice that you need rubber for this. So once you have that, you can go ahead and... Uh, and craft it and place it and it's quite interesting the way this works this is a programmable explosive stick it on the wall or on the floor or I would imagine also on the ceiling yep you can place this in any orientation and the orientation does matter if we go into if we right click on it now it has a GUI you can adjust the radius length and delay on this explosive now you can't increase the radius on the standard explosive charge or decrease it. It's fixed at 3. However, there's also this length setting. What's this mean? 
length means how deep into whatever you've uh, placed it on it's going to explode and that is based on the surface you have it attached to so whatever surface you attach this to the length is the number of blocks in that direction that it's going to blow up okay so you can use this to really you know tunnel into an area and then we have our delay here so we're going to do a radius three length of five and we're going to detonate it now it's armed boom and it drops everything the explosive charge is actually uh, quite useful it's you can use it as a breaching weapon or you can just use it to uh, to mine a little expensive for mining although you do get more than one when you craft it quite cool I'm gonna place one more and I'm gonna stand right in front of it and I'm going to go into game mode zero although I should have put some armor on we're gonna stand like right here and you see it didn't hurt me that's because the explosive charges direct their explosion in that uh, direction so it's not gonna deal a ton of area damage around it so it's actually pretty safe I like it these are gonna be these are actually really useful not for really for weapons or not just for weapon weaponry but for um, you know digging tunnels as well as you know uh, if somebody's built a fortress and you've got a wall you can easily get through it with this pretty cool now we come to the advanced explosive charge it's the same thing really except you make it with TGX the advanced explosives in uh, tech guns you need four plastic sheets four TGX and a circuit board and you get four advanced explosive charges so you, oh you get eight of the standard ones when you use TNT so you don't get as many and you have to use TGX and plastic so it is more expensive however its power is much much greater uh, so where are we gonna do this at let's do this over here I'm gonna place this on the ground we're gonna go right here ready now with this the radius can go all the way up to seven and the length maxes out at ten let's do it check that out <laughs> look at that you can make some pretty big holes pretty quickly with this stuff it's really neat I like it a lot so let's do that again no, that's the wrong one wait where'd my advanced go ah let me grab another one no now you can come down and do a six instead of a seven which funnily enough uh, just leaves the corners so as you can see Gems of fluorite from reactor craft. This is uh, pretty darn useful. Radius five. <laughs> I like it. So that's it. We're we're gonna keep doing this because it's fun. But you can see the usefulness of these explosives. They're safe to stand next to. Three is as, as uh, low as you can go on it. And we can mine our way all the way down to bedrock with this. There we go. Obviously, it won't break bedrock, but <laughs> chromatic crap. We've gone all the way down. We have blown up a lot of stuff, and unlike TNT, you do actually get the drops from the things that you blow up. So I think these explosives, especially the default one, uh, if you have the resources to make them, are actually quite useful for mining. There you go, explosives. 
Now, because you have to place these, you can't throw them or anything. These are satchel charges, so pretty sick. I like it a lot. Oh, by the way, let's just check and make sure that, that your uh, obsidian, of course, being explosive resistant, isn't going to get blown up. Oh, wow, it is. So the advanced uh, explosives can blow up uh, obsidian. What about the default one? Yes, so it can it. So yeah, nothing is safe. Not even uh, obsidian. Pretty cool. These uh, don't mess around with these explosives, but they're very useful and very cool. So anyway, that's going to conclude our Tech Guns tutorial series. If you look in here, there's really nothing left except for all these uh, decorative items like uh, sandbags and lanterns and metal doors. Uh, whatever these bug holes are, which is like a world gen thing from like, um, from like, uh, what's it called? Um, Super Troopers, is that what it's called? Yeah, that movie? Uh, yeah, Super Troopers. So there's really nothing else. Uh, we've covered everything. And uh, so well, I hope you have enjoyed our time with Tech Guns and uh, that you pick up the mod if you're interested in having all kinds of weapons and armor in your Tech Gun, in your um, Minecraft. The next tutorial series is going to be Chromaticraft. A lot of people have been asking for it for a long time. I meant to do it ages ago, but it's just quite difficult to do a tutorial series on. But we're going to go ahead and do it and um, it's going to be epic. It's going to take a long time to get through everything because I feel like most things are going to need their own episode. So this is going to be a long one. But uh, Chromaticraft doesn't really have all that many great tutorials and it's definitely a complicated mod that needs uh, some good tutorials for it. So um, stay tuned for that series. I really hope you'll enjoy it. Um, thank you so much for the support on the Tech Guns series. The episode's got a uh, you know, significant viewership, so thank you very much, especially the Drills episode. You guys seem to really like that one. Um, so thanks so much for watching the series. Stay tuned for the Chromatic Craft series. Join our Discord if you're interested in uh, chatting with us. It's the best place to suggest things for videos, although I do read all the comments. Discord is still the best place because uh, you get to talk with us and talk with me, you know, in real time. I'm always on Discord, even if I'm not actively participating, it's always open, so you can always message me and I'll see it eventually. Um, like and comment the video if you enjoyed it. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.